Hi everybody, welcome back. Renee Stain Glassworks. Um, it's so nice to see everybody again. I'm sorry it's been a while. Um, I've been pretty busy getting stuff ready with my store and stuff. Um, but I wanted to uh, show you guys something I've been working on. This is, let me back up a little bit here. This is um, a pre-cut stained glass beginner kit that I worked on putting together. And I'm going to be making this video series as a guide to help people. Um, I chose this because it's an easy pattern, three pieces, a great beginner kit. There's only one extra thing that you're going to need for this project, and that is a soldering iron. This is also on my website, ReneeStainGlassworks.com. This is a very basic 100 watt soldering iron. It works perfect for a beginner project. Um, this is going to run you around $25 with free shipping. And I'm going to show you guys step by step how to put this together. And this is what it looks like when it's all assembled with the little hook and stuff. This is what it looks like. It comes with the Cricut vinyl, the O Holy Night manger scene. And it's a really pretty piece of blue. Let's see if we can show you up to the light here. It's really pretty. So I thought this would be a nice Christmas one and one that we could do together. So we're gonna go ahead and get started on this. And if you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can uh, contact me through Facebook, my website, reneestainglassworks.com. And um, thank you all so much for joining me, and we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is gonna come with the kit. I didn't package it in this one. This is actually my first packaged kit. This took me forever to do, you can't even imagine. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open it. But like I said, the flux and the brush are going to be in with the kit. So I'm going to move this one out of the way a little bit. Okay, here's our little bag of goodies. Got our chain and jump rings and hook. We got our 730 seconds foil and our pretend ring, and we got our 3 8 foil, and we got our solder. Okay. And you can just cut this, but I don't have my scissors accessible. Here's our instructions with our vinyl and our pattern. Here's the vinyl. Get rid of our garbage. instructions and our pattern. Okay, so I do recommend we clean our edges with some alcohol. Now on to step two, and I'm going to start foiling the manger at the very peak there. And that's because I want to hide our tape line into our solder line. I don't want any little edge to show. So I find that if I just hide it in the solder line, it just works out for the best. 
So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to wrap our entire manger piece with the thicker foil. Now we're going to go ahead and push our foil down. On the example that I have that I made, um, it does not have the thicker foil on this piece, but I was thinking that I like the thicker foil better for this piece. For a beginner, it'll be easier to wrap around. Now the hardest part that you're going to have as a beginner is getting your foil even on both sides. And it's difficult at first, but practice makes perfect. And it's something that you will eventually get used to and be able to do and then you're going to want to and you can't expect that it's going to be perfect when you're hand foiling it it's just it's not you just get it as close as you can but a good thing to remember a tip to always remember is um, a good foil job means a good solder job if you have a crappy foil job, you are going to have a crappy solder line. So be careful not to rip your edges. If you don't have um, one of these uh, fids, this is called a fid, and we're going to fid the edge like this. Um, if you don't have this, um, you can use, you know, pencil, anything like that. Just something to push this tape onto the glass with. Such a pretty piece of glass. Okay, so we did step two. And now we're going to do step three, which is the 730 seconds foil. And I recommend starting on this line here. That way, um, this is going to be in our solder line, so you're not going to see it. Okay, that's a good start. And I like to flip it around once I get a good look at it. And then you can see it like that on both sides. See how you can kind of go back and forth and see if it's even like that. That's how I like to look at it. And for me, I can't see anymore without taking my glasses off and getting really, really up close. Okay, so you guys see that right there, how it's, I don't know if you can see it, it's a little bit uneven where the tape meets. I like to have my X-Acto knife. And you can even do this after you solder it. I just like to do it first. And then we're just going to make that even, like a so. Okay. So I started here with my foil and I wrapped all the way around the piece 
and then I came back and I ended it about here and that seemed to work out good. Then there's no edge or anything like that. It's all on your solder line. Get our solder out. And we're going to get our brush. solder line a little bit more. I'm going to make this a little nicer. So this is a good piece to kind of just get you used to a little bit of soldering. There's not too much. It's kind of quick. Um, the next uh, kit that I do will be a more advanced kit. We'll solder a little bit more in the next kit. Now you're just going to touch your solder. You don't need a lot of solder for the edge because you don't want it to get all goopy. sure you get all your foil covered with your solder and I leave any foil exposed that little corner right there and if it doesn't cover you just add more salt or more flux okay. Now, the edge gets, you know, it's hot when you do the edge, you gotta hold the glass, so just keep that in mind. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna flex all the edge. See, there's still tape exposed there. You don't want to use too much um, solder on it, otherwise it just gets all drippy and 
just no good. So you kind of try to use what's already kind of dripped over. You see how it's dripped over there? I'm just going to use that. Gives it a nice clean edge. And this is going to be our front um, because we're going to put the vinyl on the smooth side. So the smooth side's a front. Okay, now we're going to be ready to put our hook. Okay, so our little pre tin ring is in here, our little hook. Okay, so we're going to attach our hook. We're going to attach it to the back. This is the back, it's the rigidy side. Um, we want this to be kind of flat up here. So we're going to keep our, our um, pre tin ring flat on the table. And we're gonna line that hook up with our solder line. So it's like that. And I don't like how this is kind of lifting. I want the ring to be flat as possible. So I'm gonna hold it. I like to use alligator clips because it gets very hot. So I'm gonna push that down. You can use whatever you got. We're gonna go ahead and Get some flux on this. And then we're just going to touch it on this side, right? On these spots here. Just really to tack it till we solder it into the solder line. I want to give it a good tack. Let that harden. And light. I want to knock it right off of there. Light touches. on there like that. So I'm using CJ's Flex Remover. You can also get this on my website, ReneeStateGlassworks.com. If you don't have this, you can use Dawn. Dawn will work. There's not many things Dawn does not work on. And I like to use an old toothbrush. cheap dollar toothbrush at the dollar store, the packing them. You want to scrub your solder lines, but be careful not to peel the tape up. You want to do that. hit mine with a good splash of white vinegar. It really helps get any excess flux residue off of there.
Okay, now that we washed our piece, use some vinegar on it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use alcohol because we're gonna apply our vinyl and we want zero, zero flux residue on this. I'm gonna do the whole thing. I mean, I only wash this a couple times. I do recommend washing it, you know, at least two to three times. I mean, that flux is yucky and it's on there and it will make your solder lines nasty. Now, if your solder lines do um, get kind of white and um, oxidized, which is what it is, just, you know, you can brush it off with a little steel wool, um, the triple grit, and you can um, go over it again with some vinegar, and that'll help to bring it back to life. It's really this part here that I want clean because our vinyl needs to stick to it. I'm gonna do this. And then we want to take our transfer tape and start to lift our image. Making sure we get it all on here. Especially the dot of the eye that worked. Okay. So we got it all on here. This is what it looks like. And we're going to want to center it as best we can. I mean, you know, you get it as good as you can. That looks pretty good. I'm going to start from the center out, press down. Um, if you don't have one of these tools, a credit card works great. Okay. Slowly peel. That adhered very nicely. So that looks great. And now we'll go ahead and attach our chain. That is the last step. Okay. There's our hook. I did make the hooks. They are handmade to keep the quality of our piece nice. We wanted the hooks handmade. So we're going to take our first little jump ring. And separate. Oops, I didn't see. I didn't separate it enough. Uh, separated. I couldn't see. I didn't have my glasses off. Attach that. I'm going to attach. You can attach this all at once um, before putting it on here if it's easier for you. So instead of doing it piece by piece like I'm doing, just attach the whole piece to the chain and then attach it to the stained glass piece. Again, we're going to separate. We're going to add our hook. We're going to close our jump ring. Make sure it's even. Congratulations on completing our first pre-cut stained glass kit together. I had so much fun creating this project, and I hope that this really helps some of the beginners out there. And please keep an eye out for more projects I'm going to be having uh, coming up. 
and thank you all so much for joining me. Uh, again, all these products can be found on my website, Renee Stain Glassworks.